Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bearded Barbecue and Adventures. This is Don. Tonight we're going to be making some chicken leg quarters on the Kamado Joe 2 Classic. So, without any further ado, let's get out there, get the grill fired up, and I will show you how to make all your neighbors jealous with the smell of some fantastic barbecue that anybody can do. Let's get going. <music> everybody go ahead and got the grill loaded up with some charcoal and so we're going to go ahead and start this tumbleweed and kind of let it let the grill come up to temp so as you can see i'm not using any lump charcoal today mainly because this is going to be a fairly quick cook and um I don't have any extra lump charcoal lying around. So just the Kingsford Classic Briquettes will work just fine. We'll let this uh, grill get up to temp <clears throat> while we're waiting. We'll go inside, we'll season up the uh, chicken leg quarters, and then we'll get ready to come out here and put them on the grill and let them heat up. All right, everybody, for a quick cook like tonight, when you're doing chicken leg quarters, I just picked up some that were pre-seasoned at the uh, local grocery store but we always like to add a little bit extra on there. So tonight I'm using Stubbs All Purpose Rub. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and coat those over the top of the season. I find that most of the time when you get pre-season chicken at the grocery store, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's really good, other times it's not so great. I've bought this kind before and it, it tastes really good. But as you can see, before I was sprinkling these uh, this seasoning on there, it rubs off really easy. So on the packaging, it all kind of comes off. So what we're doing is just kind of coating it with this to give it a little extra pop and a little extra flavor. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got the grill heating up outside. So as soon as I get these seasoned up, we're gonna let this uh, let the seasoning kind of soak into the chicken, penetrate down into the meat so that it gets all the way in. And by the time it's ready and sitting here, that grill will be ready and we'll be able to take these outside and put them right on top of that Kamado and get them cooked up. I don't anticipate this type of cook taking very long. Like I said, this is something that's like really, really quick. It's not like doing chicken halves or even a whole chicken. It's usually really easy to do. So whenever you flip them back over, because this is gonna be the presentation side where the skin is, we just wanna kind of give it another little dusting to hit any areas that may have missed when we flipped over. But hey, we've got this chicken seasoned up. I'm gonna go check on the grill and then we'll get these on there and get everything ready to roll. everybody we've got the grill up to temp we have got our chicken that has been seasoned very well and we are ready to start placing it on the grill We've got that on there. We're gonna let that go for a little bit. Then we'll kind of turn them around so they get some even heat. And we'll come back and we'll check on them in a little while. All right, everybody, just checking the uh, the chicken right now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of turn them around a little bit to get them an even, make sure that they get heated very evenly. The smallest ones I'm gonna push to the uh, far to the outside there. There we go, like that. And then, in a little bit, just in an effort to uh, crisp up the skin and stuff, we'll flip them over and get them good and crispy. We like a crispy skin, so we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, and one of the things we're gonna add here is some uh, sausages. So, I mean, you know, if you're gonna have chicken, you might as well have chicken and sausage too, right? Yeah. 
it's hard to film with one hand and try to <laughs> place sausages with another. The perils of starting a YouTube channel. Don't have the, any fancy equipment yet, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys are just laughing along with me. All right, now then, got the sausages on. All right, guys. Whew. It's been about one hour of total cook time, and I have already flipped the uh, chicken leg quarters over, and they got that skin nice and crispy. So we're going to go ahead and flip it back over now. And as you can see, I've already flipped the sausages, and they've kind of had their their cook time. And we're almost done. We're going to be pulling these puppies up here momentarily, and then we'll do what everybody's been waiting for, and that is the taste test. So we'll see you inside, see how everything tastes. All right, guys, you know your chicken's done when you can twist that bone and it just comes out clean, just like that. So now we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. So I've got some chicken, I've got some skin, we're gonna test it out. Man, that is fantastic. That wraps it up for another episode of Bearded Barbecue and Adventures. Until next time, I'll see you behind the grill or behind the wheel.